Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share the proof of the derivative of log x. First, we let fx be equal to log x to the base a, which means that for a small change in x, which is x plus delta x, we should obtain log x plus delta x to the base a. According to the limit theorem, the derivative of a function is equal to the rate of change in y which is fx plus delta x minus fx for every small change in x which is delta x and delta x must be small enough which is approaches zero and this should be equal to we just have to substitute what we have here so log x plus delta x to the base a minus log x to the base a over delta x applying the law of logarithms we should have 1 over delta x log x plus delta x over x to the base a again we can apply law of logarithms bring this to the power so we have log simplify this x over x is 1 plus delta x over x to the power of 1 over delta x the base remain as a we can let k be equal to delta x over x as delta x approaches 0 k approaches 0 and now we replace this using the equation that we have so which means that the derivative should be now equal to limit k approaches 0 for the function log base remain as a 1 plus k to the power of 1 over delta x since k is equal to delta x over x which means that delta x is equal to k times x now let's apply the law of indices and rewrite the power so which means that we should have limit k approaches 0 log remain base a 1 plus k to the power of 1 over k times 1 over x. Apply the law of logarithms, power bring down. So we have limit k approaches 0, 1 over x, log a, 1 plus k to the power 1 over k. Since nothing to do with x, we can take out 1 over x and apply the properties of limit. We can bring out the function log a limit k approaches 0 1 plus k to the power 1 over k and this term we can apply the definition of Euler's number so which means that this is actually the value e now let's rewrite this term by using the law of logarithms so which means that we can shift in between the base and the index and we take the reciprocal so we should have log a to the base e when we apply to the base e for log which means that this is the natural logarithm, which is ln so we have 1 over x times ln a and hence we prove Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.